right, guys. It is a lovely moonlit winter night here in Doomsday Trailer on this glorious, what is it? It is a Tuesday night. It is February 20th, uh, 2024. So I just finished my broken record C word rant, or maybe it's a P word rant. I don't, I don't know. I had some fun with that one. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to bore Gloria Nanati. I'm, I'm dedicating tonight to boring Gloria Nanati. So she said she doesn't know what, something, what did you say, Gloria? Said, like, I, I don't know what's more boring uh, uh, to listen about Donald Trump or uh, space aliens. And my comment was, but I said, I bet even you would enjoy uh, hearing that Donald Trump had been abducted by space aliens and hauled off to Alpha Centauri, never to return to planet Earth. But, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can get Donald Trump and space alien abduction into the same rant. Uh, <laughs> but while I'm figuring that out is uh, you guys, you knew, especially after me reviewing that Netflix documentary on that uh, sleazebag, Rael, the, uh, the alien prophet last week, <clears throat> you knew that uh, you were going to have to hear a, uh, a human-hating alien experiencer uh, review the Netflix series called Resident Alien. Now, I, I just learned, I guess, that uh, they're they're continuing on. I, I'm 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 going to stop watching it. I, I watched the first ten episodes. Each episode is forty five minutes, so four hundred and fifty minutes. Uh, of my life the past few nights has been spent binging on Resident Alien and so and, and guys if you haven't seen it then there, there, there's there, there could be some spoiler alerts so if you don't want I'm giving you a spoiler alert uh, if you haven't seen it and you plan to see it to watch it. I do recommend you watching it, then come back here. Otherwise, I'm, I might put some spoilers in here. So, uh, how do I give the at least the first 10 episodes, how would I rate it? It's like episode one, two thumbs up, and then, and, and, and so I, I had two thumbs up on episode one, by episode five, I was two thumbs on its side. By episode ten, spoiler alert, uh, two thumbs down. So it did start out. Uh, it, it really was fucking funny uh, in, in the beginning, when the when the writers had a lot more license, uh, you know, to set it up. So the setup is uh, we, we've all heard this idea and probably thought about it. And that's, you, you know, aliens coming to planet Earth uh, to kill all the humans. Now, in this one, the reason it wasn't a race of aliens. It was it was one alien was given the job uh, to come and destroy humans in order to quote save the planet. So at least the setup in the in the beginning was fantastic. That uh, these aliens, you know, with a brain, looking at planet Earth. <clears throat> And just like a, you know, a, a, uh, an exterminator looking at a rat-infested slum, uh, these aliens uh, pretty much have figured out 
that humans are the problem on the planet. If the problem is humans, the solution to the problem is getting rid of humans, making humans go extinct. And so at least the setup is good. And so obviously, you know, the question is, so he comes here to kill all the humans uh, to save every other one of the earthlings on the planet. And uh, so, so of course, we, we already have a, uh, you know, you have to suspend disbelief or whatever it's called a little bit. You, you, you know, there, there, there's... There's, there's really only one reason that aliens w would have any interest in coming to this planet, and that is to rape and plunder it, obviously, uh, just to take what humans are doing and put it on steroids. So if, if the aliens come here uh, to act like humans on steroids, uh, then obviously humans are going to be in their way and they are going to kill the humans. But as much as I uh, cheer on a, a planet-eating race of space aliens killing all the humans, if the only reason uh, that they're killing the humans is to... Uh, just to get rid of the competition and then they're just going to do what humans are doing but even quicker uh, you know what have we gained but that's the most likely outcome of aliens ever coming to earth uh, is, is to kill us all because we're competing for the shit that they want and then of course there is this fantasy this absolutely ain't going to happen fantasy. I guess Elliot uh, Jacobson and I are, I can't believe that I forgot aliens coming to save us, to save the planet. Uh, aliens don't give a fuck about planet Earth. They, they don't give a fuck about planet Earth. Okay? They're not coming here to save the planet. But it's a, it's a good setup for a, a Netflix comedy, which is what this is, it is a very dark, sick, twisted uh, comedy. So the, the space alien is coming here to kill every human on the planet, and of course, what does he do? He fucking crashes his spaceship, and, and, and he's fucked up. <coughs> And he, uh, his spaceship is, 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 is all wrecked. And more importantly, he has lost this little device. Looks kind of like a Rubik's Cube. Uh, gets ejected from the, uh, from the uh, spaceship and gets buried in the snow out in some glacier at the top of some mountain in Colorado like there's still glaciers on uh, in the Colorado Rockies. So anyway, that's the setup. So he gets here and he has to find, uh, well he's got two things. He's got to put his spaceship back together and, and uh, then he's got to kill all the humans. He's got to find this little thing. It's about this big to kill all the humans. But this is going to take him a little while to do. So he's got about, I guess it was five months, I think, uh, in this mythical town of Patience, Colorado. So uh, what the series does is uh, they follow this space alien uh, while he's killing time in, in a... <clears throat> in this little small town trying to find this thing to kill all the humans. And, and, and so, of course, you know, the first episode is wide open. So you can absolutely cheer on the alien and uh, he comes and immediately starts killing people. Uh, so he's got to, obviously, he can't walk around looking like an alien, so, he's, so as soon as he gets here, first thing he has to do is kill somebody and kind of become a human himself. 
and this of course uh, is, is where uh, the seeds of this series destruction are planted is that you know the space alien uh, who has no emotion uh, no pity he's gotten beyond the point of no pity like uh, Don Juan Matus recommends uh, so when he gets here there, there's really nothing stopping him from killing every fucking human on the planet except he needs to find this thing and the longer it takes him, as I say, I think it's five months. I don't know why I think that. <laughs> the longer it takes him to find the thing, the more human he becomes. So, uh, you know, so of course, it being Hollywood, uh, this guy, this absolute fucking... Uh, space alien weird level guy uh, immediately hooks up with his absolutely gorgeous uh, chick about 20 years younger than him. She's some uh, noble savage squaw. What's her name? Asta 12 Trees or something. So uh, obviously they you, you have this budding love affair between the uh, between the noble savage squall and, and, and the space alien, you've got that one. So they got all of these different stories going on at once, and it is funny. Uh, uh, okay, guys, the, the first few episodes are fucking funny, and, and, and it really does. I, I mean, a lot of it stays funny for the first ten episodes. So if you're as bored with your life as I am, and you're sick of the Doomosphere, you're sick of fucking humans, uh, you're, you want to cheer on the alien uh, for, uh, for, for killing all the humans. You know, and, and, and I was just, just really hoping that Netflix, you know, Netflix has more balls than YouTube does. I, 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 spend, I have more respect for fucking Netflix than I do YouTube any day. Well, you know, was Don't Look Up, was did Netflix produce Don't Look Up? I mean, uh, they let the, they let humans get smacked in the end of that. So, uh, I was really hoping that, uh, that Netflix had the balls, uh, to have this space alien come down here, understand that humans were the biggest threat to the planet, and we needed to make, and he needed to make uh, planet Earth a human. Uh, what's the exclusion zone? Which, of course, is my biggest fantasy of my life: is to make the planet a human exclusion zone. And so I was thinking, come on, Netflix, just have some fucking balls and, and wipe out the fucking humans. You know, but obviously, you know exactly, uh, you know exactly uh, where this, where it started fucking going south. Oh, uh, and uh, you know, finding the good in humans. Oh God. But I did at least like, uh, the, you know, ta being a little bit honest about the epidemic of loneliness. Uh, just talking about how being a human and, and not being, a, even if you're not a big fan of your, uh, of your uh, fellow humans, uh, you know, that being alone, it, it fucking sucks. And, uh, you know, he was living out there in this remote cabin. He had, he, he had uh, <clears throat> gotten lost from his own planet, and he was stuck uh, for five months out in this cabin, as much, even though he was planning to kill every fucking human on the planet. Uh, he, 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 you know, he wanted some fucking company. He wanted some female company, and he wanted just some fucking company. 
So it did. Uh, that was not 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 a real comedic part of it, but but it did uh, it, it did talk a little bit uh, about the epidemic uh, uh, of loneliness that how on a planet of eight billion fucking humans that that, uh, that why there's so many people uh, alone. Uh, you know, living in uh, what you know, remote whatevers at, at the end of dirt roads, and uh, you, you know, so these, the, 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 so the spoiler alert, right up to the last minute, <clears throat> he was ready to kill every fucking human on the planet. There were 80 seconds left, right up to the last minute and 20 seconds. The thing was uh, was going to detonate, and so what he did was he tried to get this little haughty noble savage squall to come with him back to his planet and be his anti-human doomer chick forever. Uh, he goes, get on the fucking spaceship with me, and the two of us. Uh, you're gonna be uh, literally my doomer chick forever. It's just gonna be the two of us, and on our way out, we're going to kill uh, every other fucking human uh, on the planet on our way out. So he thought that was a good idea. Uh, there, there, there was one piece of pussy uh, on the planet that he wanted, and he'd already turned back into an alien. You know what I'm saying? So he goes, get in the fucking spaceship, uh, my little noble savage squall doomer chick, be my doomer chick forever, we will fix this planet by killing all 8 billion humans except for you. And of course, she has 80 seconds to uh, make the decision, so uh, you, you, you know how it, how it ended uh, that she... Uh, was she turned him down and she was not going to be his doomer chick forever and uh, so he had he either had to kill her with everybody else or he had to let everybody live and, and of course you know with 10 seconds left he fucking defused the thing and and takes off and uh, so now I guess they're going into season two with ten more episodes and you know exactly where it's fucking going now so what's gonna happen is he's gonna get back to his fucking planet and, and, and he's going to have failed in his mission and, and, and now uh, the, the, the people on his own planet uh, are still going to want to kill all the uh, all the fucking humans and, 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 and it's going to be up to him to save the humans uh, that suddenly uh, you, you know the the aliens who are actually living uh, on their own planet uh, without endangering every other being on their planet they're going to be the bad guys and, 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 and it just makes me want to fucking puke. Uh, Netflix fucking blew it. You know, they, they could have killed all eight billion fucking humans and saved the planet, but no. Another goddamn uh, doomer chick fucked it up. Uh, not wanting, you know, I'm not going to be your doomer chick forever. Uh, and, and, and his whole fucking point uh, in, in living uh, is to, he, has, he has, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so off he goes back to his home planet, leaving his, uh, his doomer chick forever behind. But don't worry, he'll be back. Will he get his doomer chick forever in the end? Oh, God, who gives a fuck? Anyway... So what will I watch on Netflix tonight? Bye guys. What did you think of Resident Alien, little dog? I thought it was pretty boring to tell you the truth.